Hello, Wes Bryan, Edutainer at IT Pro TV, here with another edition of How to Get Started in IT. In this episode, we're going to talk about a few tips that can increase your chance of success on your next exam. We're going to be talking about, well, three major things preparation, working with your questions, and, well, time management. Let's look at preparation. At this point, studying should have already been done. You should have utilized your practice test or are getting ready to sit that exam. But you want to keep in mind, you need plenty of sleep, you need to make sure that you eat before your exam, and you are hydrated. Now, the next thing we have to look at, how about working with your questions? This is really, really important. You have to make sure that you read the questions and all the answers. Understand the context of the question. Pay attention to keywords and conditions. Keep in mind that these keywords and conditions, they change or determine the context of a scenario that's being placed in front of you. All right, keep in mind things like best. Which is the best is very different than which of these is the least. Which is not versus something like, which of these is? Keep in mind, context is important. Then we also have to go through a process of elimination. Go with what you know. A lot of times I find that exam candidates, when they don't know a question's answers, they will focus on that fact and that fact only. So focus on the answers that you do know. The ones that you know aren't right, given the scenario that you've been presented with. Work through those questions and answers with the process of elimination, a lot of times you can get it down to a 50-50. Now, I do want you to keep in mind that 50-50 should never be your goal, right? I want to just rely on the 50-50. I've got a 50-50 chance of getting it right. You want to make sure that you're studying so you don't have to do that. This is a last-ditch effort, but you need to keep in mind that any unanswered questions are already incorrect. So process of elimination, you can get it down to 50-50. At least you have a 50% chance of getting that question right. Last, but certainly not least, is time management. This is a big one for a lot of exam candidates because they're under the gun and they're a little nervous. Remember, goes back to unanswered questions are already wrong. Never leave a question unanswered. So if you come across a question that you don't understand, mark it for review. You might get hints in later questions that jog your memory as to what that answer is from an earlier question. If you're in simulations, don't let the simulations consume all of your time. If you have to and you get tripped up on one, Mark it for review, because you will see as you go through the test, they can give you subtle hints as to what those answers are in earlier questions. Last but certainly not least, don't let one or two questions ruin your whole exam. Marking for review and moving on. These are some of the tips that I give exam candidates to make their chances of success a little bit better on their next exam. If you like what you've seen today, be sure to subscribe below. And if you didn't see your exam tip in our list, leave us some comments below. We'd love to hear from you. And from all of us here in How to Get Started in IT, thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.